Chuini, Dachshund and Chihuahua Mix This designer dog breed mix of the low-riding Dachshund and energetic Chihuahua earns our award as the dog with the funniest assortment of names. Whether you know it as a Chuini, Choxi, Weenie Wawa, German Taco, or Mexican Hot Dog, one thing is for certain, these adorable and compact pups will be loyal and energetic in spades. Taking the best of traits from both of their parents, these lovable designer dogs make excellent pets for urban apartment dwellers, active couples, and always on-the-go families. Though they can be a little bit yappy for some people's tastes, they can also make wonderfully alert watchdogs and unfailingly devoted companion animals. If you've been thinking about bringing a Chewini into your home, read on to learn more about their personality, healthcare requirements, trainability, and more. By the end of this guide, you'll know for certain whether this breed is right for you. What's the price of Chewini puppies? Chewinis are one of the better known breeds of designer dogs, thanks to the popularity of both of their parent breeds and easy breeding requirements. This means that on average, you should be able to find a Chewini puppy for between $200 and $600, though puppies with impressively pedigreed parents may cost as much as $1,000. Largely due to their yappy temperaments and difficulty in training, it's not always difficult to find a Chewini available for adoption, either. Before you decide to buy a new puppy from a breeder, we encourage you to take a look at Puppy Finder's adoption page for Chewinis and consider adopting a dog in need of care. It's a responsible option that can also save you money in the long run, a definite win-win situation. Three little-known facts about the Chewini. 1. An adorably ugly Chewini named Tuna is Instagram famous. With more than 2 million followers, Tuna may be the most well-known Chewini in the world. You can find him at Tuna Melts My Heart on Instagram, where you can follow along with his hilarious life and selfies. He's a well-traveled dog, too, with on-the-go photos of the traveling tuna, and his life growing up with a little girl at Tuna Lovis Grace. 2. Dental care is essential for Chewinis. While crossbreeding has helped the Chewini to eliminate many of its parents' most ingrained health problems, both the Dachshund and the Chihuahua are prone to dental issues, making the Chewini equally susceptible to gum disease and tooth decay. Adopting a Chewini means that you'll need to get used to brushing their teeth regularly and taking them for dental checkups each month. 3. A Chewini was once Canada's oldest dog. Back in 2011, a Chewini named Midge held the title of Canada's oldest dog, proving that this designer dog's crossbreeding has done wonders for the breed's overall health. Living to the ripe old age of 21 years old, Midge had only minor health problems and enjoyed long walks and cuddles up until the day she passed. Temperament and Intelligence of the Chewini Intelligent but willful, the energetic Chewini can be both a joy to have in your life as well as an occasional frustration. Because of their determined natures, living with a Chewini can be a wonderful way to learn to go with the flow in your life. Throw out your dog training books and learn to live with one's quirks, however, and you'll find yourself blessed with a lifelong friend. The Chewini is known as a yappy breed and can be relied on to alert you of anything that might be going on in your nearby environment. For that reason, combined with their wariness of strangers, these pint-sized pups can make excellent watchdogs, but may not be the best choice around young children. Are these dogs good for families? While less nervous and fragile than the Chihuahua, Chewini still err on the side of being small and frail. Add this to their mouthy temperaments and high energy and they're not a great choice to keep around small children. Families with older children may find them a suitable pet, but Chewinis truly thrive with just one or two owners in the house. Does this breed get along with other pets? Depending on which parent they take after most, the Chewini may still have a vigorous prey drive or be entirely absent of predatory instincts. This puts most Chewinis out of the category of being friendly with small animals such as rabbits and guinea pigs, but they can often be seen to get along with cats due to their smaller stature. Chewinis seem to be naturally hesitant to make friends with other dogs, thanks to their chihuahua side, though this is not true in every case. They tend to get along better with smaller dogs than larger ones, and more energetic dogs rather than more sedate breeds. Things to know when owning a Chewini After what you've read so far, are you thinking the Chewini might be right for you? If so, you'll want to know more about its diet, exercise, and health care requirements. The Chewini's health can be more complicated than many hardier dog breeds and should always be planned for as you're considering bringing one into your home. Food and Diet Requirements Because of their small size, 
high energy, and tendency towards obesity, choosing the right food for your Tawini is essential to their ongoing good health. Always consult with your veterinarian to choose an appropriate food for your Winiwawa stage of life and immediate dietary needs. Chihuahuas take after their Chihuahua side in having difficulties with low blood sugar due to their small stomach sizes. While feeding multiple smaller meals regularly throughout the day is good for almost every dog breed, it's especially important for the Chihuahua. Exercise Constantly energetic, the Chihuahua is especially playful and has a great need for regular exercise. Their smaller statures and more fragile bone structures incline them towards less intense activities such as brisk walks around the block or exciting games of fetch. Most Chihuahuas are partial to letting their owners know when they need exercise and will gladly bother you to get out of your chair and come play with them. Training Owning a Chihuahua usually means abandoning any notion of training, outside of long-term projects aimed at slightly adjusting their behaviors. Though they may have strong potential for intelligence coming from their Chihuahua side, the dachshund in a Chihuahua makes them exceptionally stubborn and willful. Obedience training, when they are young, may go some ways towards helping to accommodate for this but can't be relied on as a consistent method for changing behaviors. Grooming Most Chihuahuas are blessed with moderate to low grooming requirements, little shedding, and are not prone to developing odors. They can be a useful choice for mild allergy sufferers, as they don't produce much dander. More important to the Chihuahuas regular grooming is frequent brushing of their teeth. Because they are prone to dental problems on both sides of their family tree, you'll need to learn how to properly clean their teeth and take them in for regular checkups with your veterinarian. Health and Conditions Though the Chihuahua is not nearly as prone to health problems as either of its fragile parent breeds, it's still far from being the hardiest dog breed around. Some common conditions that you should be mindful of during vet checkups include Minor Conditions Hypoglycemia hypothyroidism and seasonal and skin allergies. Serious conditions. Diabetes, degenerative disc disease, dental issues, obesity and hip dysplasia. Male versus female. Both male and female Chihuahuas most often display similar or identical personalities and health characteristics. If you're looking for a dog with a certain temperament, it's better with this breed to consider which of its parent breeds it takes after more. If the Chihuahua side is dominant, the puppy may be smaller, less social, and easier to train. A dachshund dominant dog would display more willfulness and be harder to train, but also likely to be more sociable as well. Final thoughts Chihuahuas are an excellent example of a designer dog breed that manages to combine the best of two parent breeds into one unique dog, all while avoiding the inherent health problems that come with owning and caring for a purebred. If you've ever wanted a small, high-energy dog with loads of personality, the Chihuahua is definitely worth considering. If you like the video then make sure to hit that like button. Also if you want more dog training, guides, information then make sure to subscribe to our channel. Let me know what you think of this video in the comments and thank you for watching. And please consider subscribing our channel for more about dog training and dog breeds content every day.